Hello, I'm Joy Matthews, an investigator here at the Montgomery County Office of Consumer Protection and your host for Consumer Compass. Recently, a phone scam involving the IRS has been targeting residents here and across the country. Here's OCP Director Eric Friedman to explain more. Hello, I'm Eric Friedman, Director of Montgomery County Government's Office of Consumer Protection. We're here for a very important press event to warn consumers about a nationwide IRS telephone scam. Well, good morning and thank you for being here. I'm Eric Friedman, Director of Montgomery County's Office of Consumer Protection. Rather than using physical force, these crooks use fear and psychological influence to control the victim's behavior. These crooks call consumers nationwide and, and in Montgomery County, and they pose themselves to be IRS agents, and they threaten to arrest them immediately, to send the police out, arrest them immediately, deport them, put them in jail, if they don't immediately wire money to the IRS. The scam works like this. Scammers call victims and say they owe money to the IRS. Scammers may convince victims to pay with prepaid money cards, which the scammers then cash. My name is Mark Woodfield. I'm the store manager here in Rockville. This is Pat Keller, who is the head teller here in the Rockville uh, Falls Grove store. Two consumers came in, and Pat realized they were being scammed, and the scammers were on the other end of the phone. It was probably mid-morning, and um, I seen this couple getting these cards because they're in front of the um, customer service. And I kept watching them, and they looked very, very nervous and, and um, edgy and, you know, like they were scared. I said, I'm Pat, and I said, um, excuse me, are you buying these for the IRS? And the lady nodded her head, and the husband was behind her, and he was, he had the cell phone, so I know they were being in contact with someone. And I said, this is a scam. Don't do it. Hang the phone up. Here are five things the scammers often do, but the IRS will not do. Um, they'll call you about taxes you owe without first mailing you an official notice. Uh, they'll demand that you pay taxes without giving you the opportunity to question or appeal the amount that you owe. They require you to use a specific payment amount to pay your taxes, such as the prepaid card. They ask for credit or debit card numbers over the phone, and they threaten to bring in local police and other law enforcement groups to have you arrested for not paying. These are things that the IRS will not do. I've probably saved over $40,000 in five customers helping them. Well, all the way down from my office, they hugged and kissed me and just thanked, couldn't thank me enough. Felt so good. I'm hoping it'll be my last time because we really feel bad for these people. That's my story. <laughs> and if we can help through Safeway with the people coming in buying these gift cards, we're going to do it. Well, we heard a lot of good information from the IRS about what they do and what they don't do. I think most importantly, we heard from the cashier at Safeway who has helped more than five victims save $40,000 from this type of scam. She recognized that they were in the middle of a scam and they, she intervened. And I think it's very important to help us get the word out because these scams will work if we're not very alert to them. And we really have to be uh, very alert and realize what's going on. If you've been scammed or get the bogus IRS phone call, please contact the Office of Consumer Protection or file a complaint online with the Treasury Inspector General.